Hey you guys, Tiffany here. Welcome to Our Organic Life. So recently we got a new dehydrator and I thought it would be really fun to come and share with you guys a little recipe for a tasty little snack that I enjoy all the time. And that is apple chips. Now, these are a more natural, no sugar added. It's a very healthy little uh, snack that you can have. And I am just, I absolutely love apple chips. But unfortunately, when I buy them at the store, I eat them so fast. So it's not even cost effective. So we're gonna make some today. So the things that you're gonna need for this recipe are, of course, apples. Now we have, um, I suggest getting a mixture of apples, some sweet, some tart. It's nice to have uh, some variation in the flavors. So we personally got Gala apples and then um, at Aldi's they had this variety. Um, it's like a caramel apple. Uh, I don't know the actual variety, but I was like, huh, that's a cool variety. So we'll go ahead and try it. So we've got those two different varieties of apples. And then the next thing that you're gonna need, of course, is cinnamon. You cannot have apples without cinnamon. Now that is completely optional. You do not have to have cinnamon if you do not like cinnamon but I just love apples and cinnamon together. They go so well together. The next thing that you're gonna need, of course, is a mandolin. Um, you could cut these apples with a knife, but you really want them as thin as possible and uniform so that they all cook evenly. Um, so I strongly recommend a mandolin. I'll share a link down below where you guys can order one. And then, of course, also you are going to need a bowl to uh, toss your apples in the cinnamon. Now, of course, if you're not using the cinnamon, then you don't need a bowl. And then the last thing, of course, is you need your dehydrator. Now, our dehydrator that we are using today is one that we got from Sun Life, and we have actually been very happy with it. Uh, I wanted to share with you guys. We got it uh, about a month ago, and we've been using it here and there. Uh, I've actually made already made a batch of apple chips, and they came out so good. It's really simple setup, very easy to use. You've got your temperature and your time gauges. Um, the only thing that might differentiate this dehydrator from some of the higher end models, the really, really expensive models, is the maybe the temperature control. Um, I've never owned a dehydrator before. This is our first that we've ever owned, but it has set temperature increments that you can set to, and I think the maximum is 150 or 160 degrees, which is perfect because uh, um, our oven, now I don't know what your oven's like, but our oven goes down to a minimum of, I believe, 200 degrees. And what I loved about this is you can't just make apple chips, we can make banana chips, we can make dried teas. I've even seen some people make tomato paste with them. So we're gonna go ahead though today and just focus on apple chips. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is we've got our washed apples. I'm gonna go ahead and start slicing them on the mandolin and putting them in our bowl. Now there's no set amount of apples that, um, you have to do, um, I'm likely going, I think we used one apple the first time just to try it out. We're gonna likely do uh, two to three apples and um, I'm probably just gonna continue pumping them out and making as many apple chips as I can because I eat them so quickly. So they're all sliced up now and they're really nice and thin and that's what you want. You want them as thin as possible. That's gonna be how you get that nice crunchy apple chip. So we're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna toss this in some ground cinnamon and I'm not gonna measure it I'm just gonna kind of just get it coated so we're gonna go ahead and start tossing these and get them somewhat coated you might have to separate some of them just to get them because they're still sticking together from being sliced but we're just gonna kind of toss them in the cinnamon all right so now that we have the apple slices coated in the cinnamon, we're gonna go ahead and get them laid out in the dehydrator. Now, the Sun Life dehydrator comes with five levels. Um, there are other dehydrators that have like different layouts, but we're using our Sun Life. So we're gonna go ahead and set this up. Go ahead and take off the first layer. And we're just gonna lay them out evenly, one by one. Look at all those slices. I'm so excited. So I actually had an extra tray on the top, so I actually probably could have done an extra apple. 
but I decided to go ahead and try out a new recipe and um, so I've got some chocolate covered banana chips on the top. We'll see how it goes, if it goes well and you guys want to know the recipe, leave a comment down below and uh, maybe I can perfect this recipe. So let's go ahead and get the lid in place. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this on and the highest temperature is 158 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and run it at 158 degrees and we are going to run it for eight hours. So I spoke with the company Sun Life and what they advised particularly for their dehydrator is that at the halfway mark or periodically throughout, um, the bottom section is gonna dry faster than the top section. So you wanna ultimately kind of rotate them so they can all dry evenly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this um, every two hours just to make sure that it is all drying evenly and I'll just basically take the uh, bottom row, move it to the top and just kind of just slowly rotate the bottom one to the top. That way they can all cook evenly. All right, they're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. So of course, when they dehydrate, they shrink, but look at that. So I'm sure that if I cooked them for longer, they would probably get really crunchy. But I mean, yeah, I think if I cooked them just a little bit longer, probably another hour or two, they would be crispy crunchy. But, um, so I would say eight to 10 hours at 158 degrees. These are really good. There's no sugar added, it's just cinnamon, but the apples are just sweet enough. So I got a jar to put them in. We're just gonna go ahead and plop them in for me to snack on. Or Leon to snack on, because he loves these apple chips too. They're coming off of the trays very easily. No issues with that. They're not sticking to the trays. So now I've got a nice little stash of apple chips. Like I said, I would actually probably recommend closer to like eight to 10 hours. Cooked these for eight hours and they came out almost crunchy. So I really love that crunchy texture. So we'll try again um, closer to 10 hours at 158 degrees, but I'm very happy with these. They're still very delicious. And I hope you like them as well. So if you are wanting a dehydrator of your own and you'd interest, be interested in checking out the Sun Life, I will share a link down below to check out Sun Life's food dehydrator. I've been really happy with it so far. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy making your own dehydrated foods. Let me know if you want some more uh, food dehydrator recipes down in the comments below. Um, um, maybe we'll, I'll come up with some more recipes, maybe like tea mixes or um, something along those lines. Or just seeing what, how further we can push the boundaries of foods that you can make in the food dehydrator. Maybe jerky, beef jerky. Oh, I need to make beef jerky. I bet that'd be really, really. You guys take it easy. Thank you so much for joining me today.